Hi, so I wanted to take a look at some MIDI editing workflow techniques in this video. And we've looked a bit previously at the in the functions drop down and the MIDI transform. We have this edit drop down here. And there's a couple of really cool features that not everyone's maybe aware of and ways we can edit MIDI in here. So I'm going to be focusing on this section of MIDI editing commands from select down to transpose. The ones above are quite self-explanatory and you might be familiar with cut, copy and paste and delete. Um, we've got some undo options up here, but it's this stuff here which I think is quite powerful and really useful. So I've got a little project here and we've got this quite busy bass riff or lead riff and let's have a look here at this select. So select all is quite obvious, we can just select all of the MIDI notes there. But we've also got this select all following, so, so we're working on this first region here and we're happy with the first bar and we want to change or edit or do some kind of command to all of the notes following this note here. We can select this note here and select all following and then it will select whatever we have selected. I mean, we've highlighted all regions and are looking at all the regions. So it selects all following notes from all regions that we've got selected in our piano roll, which is pretty useful. And we've also got a select all following of same pitch. So we're looking at this track and we're thinking from this note onwards, all of these notes what are D and want to do something different with them. So I can go edit, select, all following the same pitch, and then it selects all those notes throughout the track. And these are quite useful little tools just when you come into a track and you're editing MIDI regions on a much larger scale than just a one or two bar region, but you've, you've duplicated stuff up, you've made variations of MIDI regions, and you've got, you know, numerous MIDI regions going on in a project there. Stuff like this is really useful. Um, we've got select muted notes. So I select this muted notes and see these muted notes are now highlighted. So if you want to clean up your MIDI regions, get rid of the muted notes there, you can do very quickly without having to go through, you know, you can apply this sort of globally to all these MIDI regions here. Go through and get rid of all the, the notes that we aren't using. We can just go edit select muted notes and it selects all of these muted notes throughout the whole project. And this is quite a useful one here, equal coloured notes. It's going to reference the velocity. You notice there's some changes in the velocity here. Some are kind of harder or higher velocity than others. Say if we want everything, all of these notes at this velocity, we want to bring them up in velocity, we can just highlight one of them, select equal coloured notes and every single note now of that same velocity has now been selected and we can move it up or down and like I keep saying you know when you're working on a project and you want to change the velocity of a note in a region that's been then duplicated up so many times to be able to do that so quickly and easily is is quite powerful, quite a handy tool. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, one of the other select options and that's uh, same subposition. So let's highlight all of these regions again. Um, we're looking at this hook. We're thinking this second note here, that's wrong now. I decided that's wrong, but it's duplicated over all of these times. I can just highlight this the second hook in the in in the in this the second note in this hook highlight it here highlight it here highlight it here and then go to my edit select same subposition and it analyzes the position of this note and the subposition and then it selects all notes in that same subposition throughout the entire project or just your region selection, how many regions you have highlighted and you're bringing in to display in the piano roll. And then I could say, 
move it up by an octave or down and it's for the whole project really useful same sub position select and uh, now let's have a look we've got repeat and repeat multiple and you're probably quite familiar with those I'm going to look now at this join notes and let's maybe look at a different MIDI region now I'm going to look at this chord sound here say and um, well let's switch I've got my key commands loaded up at the moment let's go to the US which you'll probably be more familiar with because uh, there's actually quite a nice shortcut for this say if we want these four notes in this hook we just want them to be one sustained notes uh, we could you know delete all of these and then drag it out a very quick way of doing this well for starters we can go select muted notes get rid of them and then we could select these and join notes is command and J so you can select it here and we'll join those notes up or just command and J and you very quickly can join notes together highlight these command and J and really handy workflow MIDI editing working with MIDI and also this here the trim options we have these nose four legato these are really handy and um, so if we're working on a MIDI region like this and rather than join all the notes of the same pitch as we did previously we want legato we want to extend all of these notes so they kind of go they overlap or well, not overlap they extend until the next note we could do this manually but it's going to be a bit fiddly we'll have to do a bit of zooming in and editing and stuff like that or we can just highlight these command and a and go to edit trim and note note end to selected notes force legato or note end to following notes force legato both of these options work in a similar way and they will extend all of the selected notes so one extends until the, the next note starts in the region and as you can see we've got we've extended all these notes although there were different lengths to begin with we've extended them all now and they kind of extend until the next note starts which is a very handy shortcut and the final one I was going to discuss was the transpose and these are really handy shortcuts working with MIDI regions so plus semitone, one semitone, minus one semitone, plus 12 semitones so an octave or minus 12 semitones down an octave and you also have shortcuts for these as well so alt and up, alt or option and up, alt or option and down then shift alt and up, shift alt and down and let's just have a look at how quickly we can start editing so go alt or option down and I can just move notes around if I hit right or left I select different notes move this down use alt and option or alt and option and up or if I want to extend it up an octave can do very quickly alt shift and up and then alt shift and down or just you know when you're previewing MIDI regions and you just want to shift the whole region up an octave shift alt or option down really handy little workflow shortcut there okay so i hope you enjoyed that video any questions please get in touch give us a shout and thanks for watching